everybody welcome back to my channel in this uh, video I'm going to show how to make skirts so this is one of them this is a green pumpkin it's got a rubber band on it so one of the tools you need is this it's got a removable cone for the front and then a hook do is take these rubber bands and you want to put the cone on you can slip several of these on here at the same time so when you're making jigs or making sorry making skirts um, you can just keep moving along without having to stop and put these on there so just grab it and slide it on down. If it's twisted, it's all right. So and then you pull that off of there. So we we'll do a multi-colored one. So we'll take some of these green pumpkins. This comes in um, a pack of 100. So on this color. These ones are smaller, they're for the um, finesse style, so they're thinner. These ones are cut thinner than normal. So I'm going to take three tabs. So that's one tab, two tabs, three tabs. So the ends are joined. They don't cut the ends. You have to cut those off. So I grab three of those. And then I have this color. So it has it has kind of an iridescent and black. Kind of looks like a little pepper in there. So we'll do some of those. I'm gonna take two of those. Those ones are a little bit bigger. Tabs. So make sure you have two of those. If you try to pull too many of them through this tube, though, you'll rip. You can see that this one has more than the green. So I'm going to do two of those. And then you take your, there's a measuring device on the side of there, too. So slide that up through, and then you take the hook. And you hook them on to all your skirt tabs in about the center. And then I'll kind of roll them a little bit so that they fit up in the tube. And then holding the other end, I'm going to kind of stretch them a little bit. Through, and then take this end and pull it back so you want them about even so that's pretty good now you take your rubber band and just roll it off of here work it's not work it work its way down and then it'll pop right off on there and then grab a hold slide the whole works out Pull your hook off of there, and then you can do this over a trash can. I had a couple of them split though, so these ones are a little bit shorter. So I'll actually grab a hold of those and just give them a little bit of a tug, kind of work them back up, and then you just cut all of the joined ends. Like I said, usually cut it into a trash can, but for video purposes, I'm not changing the camera angle. I'm just going to just cut these real quick. And I'll sweep my floor up when we're done. So that's the one end. All those are trimmed. 
and you can trim them all at the same time that they line up. Sometimes you're going to want some short ones and some long ones, depending on what you want the bait to look like. But you should have a long side and a short side. <clears throat> I do like the multicolor, but you can also make them all the same color. And like the light color, you usually put that on the bottom of the jig if you were, if you were going to make it two different colors. So the like the underside of a fish is usually a lighter color because when a when a fish are trying to eat them, the light lighter side is on the bottom. So when they're up towards the top of the water, when the fish below are looking up, they can't see them, and vice versa if they're on the bottom. They blend in to all of the mud and stuff that's on the bottom. So by mimicking the fish that are in the water by doing this makes makes a fish not really think um, that it's not the real deal, and then they'll go ahead and usually bite. So. Um, I do have a green pumpkin one ready right there. So we'll, we'll just put this one on here real quick. This is a green pumpkin half ounce um, football. So then with your long side on the, towards the jig head, put your hook in the center. Careful not to poke through and stab yourself in the hand. It does not feel good. This one has a metal bait keeper, and then this is where the skirt will slide up onto that. So you have to pinch it a little bit to get it over that bait keeper. And then I just shake it back and forth, kind of twist it. Yeah. Yep. Sorry about that. So then that's what you have there. You have a multicolor. And then this is a stand up football. So it'll sit like that on the bottom. And then the fiber weed guard. This is what I use. Loctite. The ultra gel. And you put the smallest amount you can possibly get in there so just with that little squeeze squeeze both sides and then it'll just speed it up just a little bit we'll rub it right on the side there try not to get it all over the paint and I'm using my eighth inch um, green pumpkin fiber weed guard I just push it in there Twist it around a little bit, let it cure. Yeah. And you can make them pretty much any color you want. So you got, you got the, and sometimes the ends will be joined together. You just want to grab a hold of that and pull them apart. Well, that's another skirt. And then I have videos out also where I show adding the stainless steel. I made this skirt too, same method, same or same process. Put that stainless steel wire, wrap it around, check out those videos. I got links in the description. Um, this is the green pumpkin with the black head. Same, same stuff that we've, we just put together, and that's that finesse, the skinnier strands. This one I use five tabs on. I like 
I like the skinnier ones, but a lot more of them. So if you're using smaller ones, they use five. The larger ones, the standard size. These, these ones, I use three. Mix and match colors we want. This is the larger size as well. I use three of those at once. These ones the larger ones as well. And I use three three of those at once. It's kind of a scale pattern, but it's really shiny. I like those. These ones sometimes and then if you wanted to also, if you wanted just a little bit down the side instead of running, you know, like bigger middle of that. You know. And then just run you want to use half a tab, you know, instead of using a full tab make make whatever you want that's the beauty of it is there's so many options out there for different colors and then if you don't want to make your own there's um, pro skirts available these ones there's no rubber band they just there's like a sheet they wrap it around and then they're glued this one so if you wanted to you could put it on this this way it doesn't really um, puff out a lot it's more of a finesse style and then if you want to make it a larger body on it flip it the other way and put your jig head in so that it's um, more it's a larger body on it. I'll just show them. It's not really, it won't really match this one. This is a custom color Stardust paint that I mixed up, but I'll put this skirt on it. So the way I would do this is flip it out and then run my jig through that center part and then slip the and then using the same method with the wire that I showed in previous videos, I put a piece of wire around there to lock it on there and it's not going anywhere. And you can turn it if there's a thinner side and you want the thinner side on the bottom. Just rotate, turn it before you lock it down with the wire turn it to whatever direction you want and then you have it so it's got more more body to it and obviously a silicone skirt too when it's on the bottom and stuff and you're bouncing it around it's going to kind of go open up, float up and open up. Um, this is another pre-made skirt. So this is a two and a half um, finesse spider skirt. So they make these a pre-made. So you put this the head of the jig up towards that um, shorter section there. Lots of lots of options out there, but I do like putting my own together. And sometimes I'll sit down and I'll just start, I'll just start throwing a bunch of them together. So I'll just start stacking them up. And then when I want to build jigs, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but when I want to build some jigs, then I just throw them together. All right, well, if you like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, and um, comment on it. Uh, every comment helps, and then if you guys want to learn anything else, let me know, or 
um, if you don't think that I explain something enough and you want me to touch base some more on that whatever that is drop it in the comment and I'll do my best thanks everybody